All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. If you've been following me for a little while, you've probably noticed that I haven't put much content out recently. And there's kind of a reason for that. When this whole thing, lockdown thing started, I got I told myself that I was gonna like really press press hard and build a lot of content and do this and do that and focus on putting out more products. And I was pretty motivated to start pushing really hard. I've been pulled in a lot of different directions in the past six, eight months. And once I started to get into it and start really work, I realized that I might not have an opportunity like this for quite some time. I live in the Washington DC area. It's very congested, very hectic. Everybody's in a hurry. Every, you know, It's one of those places where if you say you work 40 hours a week, people say that's it. Since everything's been on lockdown, the streets are empty, so there's no traffic to deal with. I don't have to go 100 million places and do 100 million things. People are a little bit more relaxed because they have to deal with this too. A lot of them are working from home. If they're driving to work, they don't have their normal two or three hour commute. So it's actually been a really pleasant time to kind of reset and take it easy. I'm not a huge fan of the DC area and actually I've been working on a plan for six years to move away. That was supposed to happen about two weeks ago. Unfortunately, with this whole lockdown thing, it's just not a good time to do that. So not only did I have all these things that I wanted to take care of over the past couple months, I also had a six year plan get set back at least, at least six months probably. So with all that on my plate, I decided that instead of turning this initial lockdown into a chance to bust my butt and get a whole bunch done, I turned it into a reset. We live in a culture that pushes really, really hard to be super productive. You know, there's life hack videos out there on hyper productivity, how to get more done and more done and more done. And I think there's a place for that. But I think in a lot of ways we have too much of that especially in the area I live, it seems like people have completely forgotten how to relax. The ability to do nothing is a really important skill that I think we're losing touch with. And I am guilty of that as much as anyone. You know, I have a part-time job as a bartender. I do photography and video work. I do personal training and I also do this YouTube channel. So I have plenty of things that are always hounding me to get done. The opportunity to enjoy a slower pace of life, eliminate things that aren't really that important and don't have to get done or which are no longer serving you is, is a really important thing to do. So this is sort of an update and just, just a notification to let you know that it's okay to not be productive. It's okay to do nothing. And when I say nothing, I don't necessarily mean lay around and watch TV all day. One of my favorite ways to do nothing is hang up the hammock, sit in the hammock, and just lay there. Sometimes listening to music, oftentimes not, for just a couple hours, and literally do nothing. I think we all need that reset, and the past couple months have been a big reset for me. And after this reset, I'm actually really ready to get back in the saddle and start you know, pushing forward with everything. So just a quick channel update on where I've been. Just a, a reminder that doing nothing is okay. You don't have to bang things out 14, 18 hours a day. That's all I got for you. I hope everybody's safe and healthy and doing well. If you have any questions or comments, like always, hit me up in the comments down below. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Thanks for being with me. And until next time, keep riding this thing out, y'all.